Um, not, obviously not the result we wanted. Um, when you shoot the percentages that we shot there, um, you're not going to beat a team that's ranked in the top five in the country, point blank. In the last two games, we have not shot the ball well. Um, we shot the ball extremely well at, um, at Florida on, on Monday, and then we've come back home and have not shot it well at all. And um, when you go one of, ten, one of 10 from the three-point line, 11 of 20 from the free throw line, um, you know, you just, it's just not, not what you do to win a game at this level. And so, um, you know, obviously we've got to go back to work and figure out a way to get Auburn on, on um, Thursday. And that's a big game because it's the next game. But Mississippi State um, played hard, played extremely hard there from start to finish. All credit to them. And, um, you know, we've got to go back and we've got to do some soul searching amongst ourselves as players. And uh, we'll get better from this. And, and the thing I'll tell you is, guys, we got four games left. And um, this basketball team's going to win a lot of games in these four. And so they'll be ready to go. And um, we just ran into a little buzz saw tonight. And State played pretty good and, and played hard. And so all credit to them. And they've got a good team. they got a good team. Um, on another note, um, um, from, a, from a, the, the pink game, um, one of the things, we, we had some survivors in the locker room before the game. And one of the things we've been hitting on all week is about um, energy and enthusiasm and toughness. And, um, you know, all, all, all my prayers and thoughts are with those people that are struggling right now with, with this deadly disease and, and um, that is not fun to go through. And um, we had a lot of those people in the locker room tonight. And um, uh, my heart goes out to them. And, um, you know, we want to continue to pray for them and help them. At the same time, um, um, it's not a good day for me, but a, personally for a good day for my family. My dad was inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame today. I want to give a, um, I want to talk about that and just say that I'm real proud of him and, and um, couldn't be more um, proud to be his son and, and couldn't be more proud to have him as a mentor. And so it's a great day there for him. Question. Matt, you guys, that first quarter were really aggressive and kind of came out and it was tight for a while. And then the second quarter, it just kind of spiraled away. What, what do you think kind of changed? I know you all got in a little bit of foul trouble. That probably didn't help. Got in foul trouble. We went one of 10 from the field. Within that one of 10, um, when in that one of ten, I think we missed six layups at the rim, and um, when you miss layups at the rim, you, and, and 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 that kind of thing, it's just not. You look at the the, the second quarter. We go, we get ten shot attempts. They get twenty six. I mean, that's not. And when we didn't didn't when we did miss them, we went to the free throw line a little bit there, um, and went one of four from the free throw line. And so, um, the stats don't lie, guys. You can see the stats, and I don't have to really talk too much about the stats there. But you got to put the ball in the hole. And then we got to turn the ball over, and we um, we had some kids getting foul trouble, having to play some kids some extra minutes, and um, they just out hustled us point blank. I caught a timeout midway through this uh, about three minutes ago in the second quarter, and I I really thought I was going to lose my hair. I was I was just so just frustrated with them because there was a loose ball, and we had one player run after the ball, and that's not us, and 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 that just that blew me away, and um, I'll fix that. Hopefully, I'll fix it in the next couple of days. But if not, I'll fix it when the off season comes. And um, but you got to play hard, and you got to hustle. You got to go after the ball there. And um, state got going there, and you let a team like that gets going. Um, we didn't do that bad defensively. You know, they scored sixty six points, but the second quarter is when they really got going on us. And so then you know, we got foul trouble. We had to back up a little bit, but we was very aggressive in the first first quarter. I was real happy with that. You guys. Um, they just threw – she's 6'7". They threw it to the corner of the backboard, and there's just not a lot we could do. They stuck her on the block, which is smart by Vic. And if I'm him, I would do that for the next however many games they play because there ain't very many people that can do anything with that. South Carolina couldn't do anything with it. I mean, they're a call or two away from beating South Carolina at South Carolina, and they'd be undefeated. And so you put her on that block, she's 6'7". Um, she's not the greatest of skilled player, but she can catch and she can put it in the basket. And they just put her on the block and threw it to the corner. Taylor and Shelby and them's in there battling. Sandrika got a um, um, flagrant foul. I hate that she got it, but at least she was in there just trying to battle it out and fight it out and didn't just let it happen. Um, but um, but they, I mean, they just put her on the they put her on the short I and mean, right there on the low block opposite the ball, and they just threw it up there. We played great defense, and they threw it to her, and she just tipped it in at six seven. Um, she could probably start for their men's team at the at the power forward spot. I've watched them, um, and she could be pretty good for them too. She's that big. What do you tell your girls when they're guarding somebody like that who's six seven? Nothing to do with your business. Um, 
you got to you got to limit her space. You got to you got to push her off the block. When we pushed her off the block at state, and a little bit today, when we were able to do that, we had success against her. But if you let her catch it on the block, there's not a lot you can do. And we got when you got behind, we got so far extended trying to press and do things like that, that it ended up getting her even better looks at the basket because we're up so far and it was able. We, it was hard on Taylor and because they was having to go from help side over to her. But you got to do early work on her. And you got to push her out. She had 17 points, 18 rebounds. I mean. Um, you know, she's a she's a load in there. She's a good player. She's a load in there. And, um, you know, I, one of our girls came to the, to the bench and said, she's big. I'm, I'm trying to attack, Coach, but she's big. Yeah, she didn't just grow. She's big in, in scouting, too. And um, you got to pull up and shoot floaters. You got to pull up and shoot jumpers. You can't go in there and just try to think. Um, it's the definition of insanity is just going in there and think you're just going to score over, over and over and over and over. And um, But, you know, we'll, we'll learn from it and get better. Thank you.